it really looks like that we have peaked as a human species, ladies and gentlemen, because, uh, yeah, imagine getting sued over YouTube videos. <laughs> Mr. Beast out there is not leaving a chance. He's really trying to make one million lawyer versus one dollar lawyer video at this point. He's going crazy. He's suing YouTubers right now, man. <laughs> this is like a, insane. This guy is crazy. <laughs> so he's suing the guy that recently came out, Dog Pack, who is an ex Mr. Beast employee. Came out with a video. He made a very good video, first of all, right? With really good evidence, and that evidence supported his claims. Like the video if you think he should not get sued. Dislike the video if you think he should get sued, man. Check this one out, roll it. Okay, massive update regarding the Mr. Beast situation. Apparently, he's been threatening to sue the former employee who made the exposed video on him. Dogpack yeah, 404 has just posted that he got a cease and desist from the Mr. Beast legal team. So clearly, Mr. Beast was not happy with being accused of conducting illegal lotteries, faking the game show videos, and all of the other stuff we talked about in my previous videos. Step one was to send Chucky, Holy. the fake PR guy, to message people to stop making videos. And step two, is to just use your billions of dollars to bully and silence people. Not yeah, how, how to say sorry on the internet? I'm sorry, first of all. Secondly, sue them. Lie, this is a horribly bad look for Mr. Beast because if you want to silence someone like this, it's probably possible that you might have some serious things to hide. So let's just go over the whole situation. The and if you don't know, apparently Mr. Beast also took down a live stream of his that because on that live stream, it was proven that he was doing illegal giveaways and whatnot and promoting gambling type of stuff to the kids. I gotta say allegedly, man, because like Mr. Beast is crazy. He about to make like a 1 million lawyer versus $1 lawyer video. And I don't want to be that guy like who he makes video on me. Like, listen, man, I'm just a messenger, man. I'm just reacting to the situation just like the internet. Okay, leave Dog Pack alone. Okay, leave the homie alone, man. It's crazy that he's out there suing. So first he took down the video, took down the stream. Doesn't look good. And now he's also sending cease and desist. So it does not look good. And, and stuff like that is what's making uh, people make more and more videos on him. And, and people are not staying silent on it, right? This is not the way to silence. Because if you try to silence one guy, 10 more people will start talking about it, right? You silence 10 people, 100 more people are ready to talk about it. So... Uh, that's like human psychology, and Mr. Beast is one of those guys, uh, uh he, he says that he knows that he study human science, human psychology, you know, analytics all day, every day, right? I mean, Brad, like, you should have saw this coming if you try to silence one guy, ten more people are ready to make videos on it, man, so... Human psychology 101, brother. Two separate cease and desist and dog pack's response to the situation, because not gonna lie, it's pretty funny. Okay, so dog pack posted in his community tab, cease and desist, these nut, and we got <laughs> cease and desist, immediate attention required. Dear Mr. Dog Pack, doesn't want to leak his name. Satan, Lord of Darkness, represents your former employer, Mr. Beast YouTube LFC. I'm writing to you regarding your recent troubling conduct following your involuntary termination from employment with the company on April 19. Specifically, it has recently come to the company's attention that you have been, among other things, disclosing sensitive, confidential, and proprietary information regarding the company's business operations and content creation methodology in I, I think this time he really used that one million dollar lawyer versus one dollar lawyer because yeah disclosing sensitive confidential and proprietary information regarding the company's business operations so yeah it looks like that this was written by a one million dollar lawyer a breach of your contractual and legal obligations as a company including the contractual post-employment obligations set forth in the confidentiality and non-disclosure agreement executed by you in connection with Allegedly, okay, I'm just the messenger, man. Allegedly. Employment. Okay, so Mr. Beast is bringing up the NDA, which basically forbids you from talking about the operations of the company and his confidential role at Mr. Beast, right? Now, yeah. I'm not a lawyer, but from what I understand, NDAs are not enforceable if you're actually doing something illegal, because then the person is just reporting a crime, which you should do. Also, Dogpack was actually very careful in his initial exposed video to only use publicly available information to expose mm. Mr. Beast, mm. and he's actually had his lawyer review what he posts online, so it's seems like he's good and he hasn't actually violated any contracts there now jimmy can't really do anything in this situation except maybe take him to court and maybe try to bully him with money but that's yeah. also probably not gonna yeah i i, I do really believe and this is what i was saying in the last video now more so than ever i feel like that if they do go to court i think dog pack is gonna win the case he would need money up front and he would still need to hire a decent or good lawyer but decent enough though uh, and, and if he wins, he can ask for money back and, and ask for more money. And he, he can win. He can win. So far, it's cease and desist. If he does not follow, if he does not comply, 
the the way it looks like i mean he said the season and desist this this not though <laughs> these nuts though the way he said it it feels like that he's gonna be he, he's just gonna drop more ammo or he's gonna fire more ammo and all that uh, uh, metaphorically speaking not literally metaphorically speaking uh, yeah and if he does that maybe then mr beast is gonna take him to court but if he does i think he's gonna win actually though gonna work and uh my guess is if if, if needed people would gladly crowdfund uh dog packs legal expenses as well yeah so yeah. here's what people are saying remember guys dog pack 404 is not uh game ending himself implying that uh uh, Holy. somebody's gonna send a hitman after him. I hired 100 serial killers to assassinate a former employee who exposed me. One dollar <laughs> hitman versus one million dollar oh hitman. My God, From what bro. I can tell, none of what Dogpack actually showed is private information. So in other words, this cease and desist doesn't really mean anything. It's just an intimidation tactic. Yeah, man, like, imagine, bro. Imagine, bro. Dogpack, you really gotta, like, issue statements immediately. Like, if I... I hope nothing bad happens and nothing bad will happen though, you know. I'm gonna I'm gonna go out, I'm gonna pray for you, brother, okay? We're, we're all gonna pray, guys. Take your right hand, take your left hand, okay? Start send a prayer at the homies way, okay? I don't care if you're religious or not. Send good vibes, send whatever you follow, whatever your relig religion is, okay? Even if you're an atheist, send good vibes. If you're religious, send a prayer at the homies way, okay? Because you never know, man, you never know, man. We're talking about Jimmy out here, 300 million subs out there. They, he can hire a hitman. Indeed, he made a video about the hitman, right? And she got kind of crazy brother she got kind of crazy so he can definitely hire a million dollar hitman and send it his way bro like so as these Set sort of massive way, companies man. often do my lawyer agrees so many comments on my youtube video are like did you even work there this is all public that was to not breach the nda i just knew the right places to look dogpack actually 1000 iq here dogpack 44 might not want to answer any suspicious knocks at the door from now on okay you gotta hand it to him dogpack or dawson has got to be one of the bravest people out there because going after like a billion dollar corporations out of mr beast here is yeah. scary when you tear it out is. a man's tongue you are not proving him a liar you're only telling the world that you fear what he might say now it turns out dogpack has actually Everybody's a philosopher, philosopher. Yeah, everybody's a philosopher right now. Posted a response on Twitter, and it is absolutely hilarious. Okay, he made one of those meme videos, but I can't actually play the music, so I'll just read it out, right? Okay. Cease and desist response and update. So, Mr. Beast's legal team did send me a cease and desist, and here's my official response to that. You want to see slander? Mr. Beast hiding peepees at his company. Obviously referencing uh, Chris Tyson there. But he does charity, guys, of course. Anyone that does charity can do absolutely nothing wrong. Other charity MFers, we got uh, Jimmy Savile and Jeffrey, uh, Jeffrey Boy. Don't yeah, forget this. Yeah, 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 yeah. Whoa, 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 whoa. Time out, time out. Tranquilo, papi. Tranquilo. Tranquilo. But the situation is so crazy. Man, it feels like that every month some sucker get caught, though. Right? Like, it's going... What? 2024 is a wild year to say the least, fellas. Philanthropist. Okay, I'm not putting the German guy in my video, all right? Where's this money actually go? As of today, all 34 million pounds of trash from Team Seas has been removed from the ocean and verified by a third party. So okay. He's calling out his Team Seas campaign too. You said you were saving the ocean. Nine no, I I'll be honest, sir, okay? I wanna be, I'm trying to, I'm gonna be fair as possible. The way it feels like that, Mr. Beast, of course, has done, like, a lot of good things as well. And I have enjoyed his videos in the past, and uh, it's been a minute I haven't seen his videos. But whenever I do, I do enjoy his videos, okay? I do like his videos. I do believe that ever since that Chris Tyson situation happened, kids should not watch this video. If you're a parent watching, if you're a big brother, big sister watching this video, and you got a younger sibling, yeah, you should not let your kids watch his video. Now, there he's saying that Chris Tyson is not going to be in his video, so yeah, it's fine if you want to show them the videos. But after this... Uh, after the Chris Tyson situation, now this stuff is coming out. Now, I also do believe that he must have done a lot of good things. Uh, and he probably has done more good things, you know, in, uh, like in real life in comparison to me. I do believe that. He must have done a lot of good things in comparison to me. Uh, and in comparison to a lot of you guys watching this video, which is good and all. But you, you see, the way it works is that you can punch somebody 100 times... And you get punched once, you get knocked out, people are gonna remember the knockout. They're not gonna remember the hundred punches you landed, right? It, it's one of those things. So uh, we, uh, we as humans, we do uh, rely on the negativity. Not, it's not that we rely on the negativity, but the negative, the uh, stuff like this just sticks out like a sore thumb. You know what I mean? And, and it's genuinely sad, right? Like Mr. Beast is, uh, never had, he never has been under this much backlash ever never never has uh, he has ever been in a controversy this bad and all all of the sudden not necessarily all of the sudden but out of the blue 
maybe that's not also the right way to describe the situation but but you feel what i'm saying right like you wake up one day and everybody's after you uh and, and you got chucky trying to say lies mr b says that incorrect inaccurate and, and you guys are not proving yourself innocent in this case right and the video that dog pack made he got credentials because uh, he was an ex-employee his video was also very good objectively speaking very good and he did prove a lot of his points and you did not deny any of those points and on top you're sending him a season desist right now so it does not look good and the entire in the entire internet has turned on you because of chris tyson the accusations with the pdf files very big very serious allegations okay and people have seen the the double standards i'm not trying to defend doc here guys but you we all seen objectively speaking right whether you like the guy or you like the guy you still like the guy or you hate the guy now that's your opinion that's your opinion okay uh, he has admitted to the allegations and all that right and we all saw the cancellation that happened by the internet but more so than that he got canceled everywhere right like the talent agency he was in the same talent agency as robert downey jr not pointing fingers at robert downey jr he's amazing he's great but to give you the perspective dr disrespect was that big to be part of the same talent agency nfl dropped him nba dropped him his own gaming studio that he founded he started dropped him youtube demonetized him twitch banned him so we saw the cancellation what did we see with uh, chris tyson yeah he got dropped by mr beast because uh mr beast was getting a lot of backlash and he don't want to uh, get that negative image so yeah they they did it by themselves but if they were if strong enough or if they had like a really strong backbone they would have never done that they would be like yeah f y'all man we're gonna keep a pdf file around who cares right they could have done that but nah man it's all about protecting the image okay it's all about protecting the image so they fired him but then you got all of these allegations so how, what are they gonna do about this yeah i mean they they are suing the guy so that doesn't look good they're deleting videos they're deleting streams doesn't look good doesn't look good and, and what happens mainstream wise absolutely nothing absolutely nothing absolutely nothing 991 days to clean up eight hours of plastic pollution 90 million pounds per day an estimated 90 million pounds of plastic enter the ocean every day and you did 34 million pounds in 991 days oh, wow. actually bringing oh, wow. up good points here oh my god nasa engineer can't do research no he's calling out mark rober nearly all environmental scientists agree that ocean plastic pollution isn't a problem we can clean our way out of or was your charity working for coke coca-cola 56 companies are responsible for the 50 percent of the world's plastic pollution there we go <laughs> Oh my god, you made probably the biggest mistake of your entire career firing this guy. <laughs> <laughs> content cop detective bro beast yeah. philanthropy selling out to the highest bidder of course of course you gotta, gotta dance on him the only mr beast member i trust gotta have chandler in there safest mr beast challenge and somebody's getting sliced up cool mr beast uploaded a new video oh this is good this is some commentary humor right here mr beast after running illegal lotteries for children commentary youtuber guys we made it we have officially made it commentary youtubers versus mr beast <laughs> Oh, that's so good. That is so good. <laughs> Mr. Beast oh carefully crafting the worst chocolate you've ever tasted in your life. Beastable, of course. Commentary YouTubers looking for a way to defend Mr. Beast. Hey, I'm yeah. just saying, I was the first guy to call him out. Okay, one of the first guys. One <laughs> of the guys to go viral here, all right? I'm just Man, this, this is like, you know, the first time shark ever tastes blood. The first time a shark tastes blood, the shark goes for it, okay? The shark loses its mind, okay? The shark goes for it. This is what happened with the homie more Pegasus. He made one video. <laughs> and he went crazy 5 million views damn yo can a brother get like 2 likes on the video or something like that that is crazy man right rightfully man chase those views brothers everybody be chasing those views uh, myself included absolutely man absolutely I'm not gonna deny that I'm not gonna lie to you guys or anything like that you know what I mean right next up I got I got cancelled for that and then I'm like I'm sorry guys I'm sorry I'm sorry I'm sorry I'm sorry I'm sorry no man everybody that does YouTube Mr. Beast does it for views nothing wrong with that i mean after all you're doing what you like and on top you're getting people that are watching your crap people getting entertained you're getting money for it right yeah i mean it's both give and take right it's all about that but it's but you shouldn't be like taking 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 you should give back as well so it's all about give and take it's about the balance as well it's one of those things so 
yeah nothing wrong with that but right now we're finding 100 things wrong with mr beast uh, here so it, it's one of those things so it looks like that he purely did it for the views i mean he made it he also he always made it clear that it was all about the views though right but now seconds are finding out that the giveaways were designed in a way to get the most amount of money back so he was giving away money but he was getting 10 times more than that it's like one of those casino the house rule the house never loses right the house always wins it's like the casino thing right and he really did reverse engineer all that crap and marketed to kids and now people are actually figuring it out and that's why he's getting canceled this badly still waiting for everybody else to jump on this all right where's everybody huh, huh? suddenly everybody wants to take breaks huh XQC and every okay XQC has negative IQ let's not even talk about the guy he <laughs> reacted to my video and uh, tried his absolute hardest to defend Mr. Beast I don't know if these guys are all in cahoots or something but this is crazy okay did he really no oh, shit. Oh, shit. so uh, what yo what he really defended oh my god Pokemon react yeah I mean Pokemon is not gonna say anything Dr. Disgusting she said Dr. Disgusting but you know, when it came to Chris Tyson, I was not aware of what was going on. Damn, brother. Damn, homie. Man reacting. A classic. Put us on in there as well. Jacksepticeye being right all along. This is in reference to when Jacksepticeye said that Mr. Beast ruined YouTube with all of his highly edited, ultra-produced garbage. All right, which um unrelated to the situation, but I like my boy Jack. Mr. Beast trying not to use charity as a shield from criticism for five seconds. Okay, I can always respect... I remember when Jacksepticeye did say that people lost their mind though. I remember, I don't remember what I said, but I remember I also did react to that situation. Maybe I reacted in my mind at that Bruh. point. I don't know, or maybe I made, I, I talked about it in a video or maybe I posted, I believe I did. And I don't remember what I said exactly, but I believe I said that, I, I'll be honest, I believe I said that in the favor of Mr. B. So I believe I was defending Mr. B at that time. And I was saying that, uh, saying something along the lines of, yo, Jacksepticeye, bruh, like, he does, like, so good for humanity, right? Like, what are we talking about? What are we talking about? Man, he, Jacksepticeye was proven right. He was proven right. Just like Sunny V2. So Sunny V2, man, his prophecy came true, brother. Uh, those of you that do not know, Sunny V2, YouTuber, big YouTuber, large YouTuber, made, makes documentaries left and right. And a year ago, he did say Chris Tyson would be a downfall of Mr. Beast. And guess what? It all started with Chris Tyson. And now we got this situation as well. So insane, man. Absolutely insane. Bro. The good SpongeBob meme, all right? I'm, a, I'm the king of SpongeBob memes, as you guys know. Mr. Beast in front of his $60 million studio explaining how he's actually poor and pretending like he has an oldest model X play for a year. Oh, who, who's that, uh, Jimmy, in the car next to you? Who, who, who could that possibly be? Hmm. Mr. Beast running for president while never taking a stance on anything. Also, who's going to vote for him? They're all under five. Mr. Beast PR team realizing the Reddit AMAs were a distraction. Trying to hit me with the NDAs and cease and desist. And he's put <laughs> Muhammad Ali dodging the punches. This guy is a 10 out of 10 comedy. Mr. Beast explaining why dropshipping burger is actually a genius idea. <laughs> that was a complete disaster, by the way. Me forging my mom's signature on my report card. POV, you're a minor in 2024. Run, run as fast as you can. It's everybody, it's everybody. Chris Discord mods discussing the new uh, anime drop. Okay. Independent third party investigation. Inve I, we actually investigated ourselves and found nothing wrong here. And he's ended yeah. it with this. James Charles still holds record for most of of youtube subscribers lost in a single day can mr beast break the world record guys i mean he is he is a champion in I, I don't yeah i i wonder if he no for sure he must have lost some subscribers but i don't think he's gonna go negative because mr beast has a global audience this second is crazy bro like he translates the videos in every language possible so he's worldwide and, and that video from pag god blew the f up last time i was checking 7 million right it's easily gonna hit like 20 million in the long run maybe even more than that right and, and you got uh, more pegasus he recently hit like hundred thousand more subscribers i believe he was somewhere around like 300k right now 433k yo more pegasus if you're watching this video man teach me your way senpai like crazy so this guy hit 5 million views so everybody's all the youtubers are talking about it but still you guys gotta understand that most of the youtubers that are covering it from what I can tell, I of course can be wrong, absolutely, but from what I'm telling, all of these YouTubers are North American and they're hitting the audience in North America. Mr. Beast's audience is mostly kids. Kids don't give a damn. They're not gonna understand the entire thing. The adults probably understanding what's going on, but the kids, uh, not necessarily, right? And 
uh, he, he got worldwide audience, worldwide audience, right? Sick is watching from all over the world and most of, most of the audience, like I said, it's kids, so kids are watching him from every place imaginable. And uh, he hits easily like 200 million views per video. That's insane. So 7 million views versus 200 million views. Of course, 7 million is crazy. Don't get me wrong, guys. Don't get me wrong. But versus 200 million, nah. You know what I mean? So he's g gaining like a, a million, 2 million subscribers per week or per month, something like that. So maybe he's gonna lose like 1 million, 5 million. Okay, let's just say 7 million subs because the main video hit 7 million, right? Uh, and all the youtubers that are making it uh, hitting 2 million 3 million 5 million views So let's just say 10 million, but over time over in the long run like yeah, who cares about that right? Like he's gonna hit all them subs back because uh, the audience like I said, it's kids So it doesn't really matter this fear I will say respect for standing your ground in the face of legal repercussion discovery would destroy mr Beast is re referring to like illegal proceedings now dogpack actually made some follow-up tweets here some updates I was originally going to expose mr Beast's philanthropy efforts being more for aiding private interests and boosting mr Beast's image than actually doing anything good but in this investigation I came across something far more interesting uh that no one else has ever found part two will be far more damaging to mr Beast's career than part one dogpack is going to make a second video oh we must protect him brothers we gotta protect him at all costs, man. Holy crap, we gotta protect him at all costs, man. Yeah, man, part two, man, part two, when, when, part two, we need the sequel, man. It better be bigger than Avengers Endgame right now, bro. And it's somehow going to be worse than part one. I can't even imagine what he's gonna talk about, but I am excited, man. As far as Mr. Beast's <laughs> largest fundraiser... <laughs> yeah, I'm not gonna lie, uh, deep down I'm also excited, which is genu genuinely, though, obje from an objective standpoint, it's sad. It's sad. It is sad. Uh, no lie, no filter on. Right now, like, genuinely, it's sad. But, but see, this situation is so crazy, and we're all seeing what's going on. And it's insane, right? First, the Chris Tyson situation, the PDF files accusations, the illegal gambling stuff, and he's pushing that to the kids. Like, damn, man. So, I don't feel bad no more right now. I don't feel bad no more, bruh. But part two, I'm ready for it. Check out this video on the screen, because recently, the stuff that came out, man... Insane. Sick is going crazy, man. Asmund Gold went gang gang, brothers. Check out this video on the screen. If you already seen it, then check out the video on the left. But you don't want to miss that one, bros, uh, brothers. 